Right, Dave, we're out on the bank today to have a look at the new rods from Century, which I know you've been putting a lot into. Um, fantastic British reputation for high quality rods, which goes back a long, long way. But these are a little bit different. It was interesting talking to you earlier and hearing some of the things that have gone into it. So these are the C2Ds. They are. Tell me why they're different and what niche they fulfil. OK, well, first of all, they are based uh, build-wise and aesthetically, especially and materials-wise on the, the C2 that we've got out of the minute. But these really, really fall into uh, the long range niche. OK. They're a 13 foot option only. They're not we've got see no reason to have a 12 foot rod really in a it's designed for a to do a specific rate. job it's, it's, it's a real a tool to do a job and it's very 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 unique in the fact that it's been designed to cast long long distances where people have got uh, shock leader restrictions oh right, so okay. and there's a lot to, of lakes that have got that now oh, a huge amount you know i've discovered that with my own fishing line diameter and line breaking strain limits uh, lead lim lead size limits yeah. and it's you know it's uh, yeah, for the first time I actually had to put some thought into Right. My set up and what I was doing to, to hit 130, 140, 150, and, uh, and doing it safely without a shop leader, exactly. without cracking off, is an issue, the, the, isn't it? Well, this is really what this rod's about. You know, you just can't be leaving baited rigs. You know, a lot of us are fishing rigs that are always presented, aren't we, these days? And mm. you just can't have them laying Absolutely. around in the lake. So, uh, I so is it possible to build a rod that will reduce crack offs then? Yeah, without, without a doubt. when you're not yeah. using a shop leader. It is. And this is doubt. what you've done. And this is what we've done. Hopefully, okay. this is the one. Yeah. Right. Okay. It's a different concept to how most rods are rolled and, and baked and, and produced, isn't it? It's yeah. uh, and, and if it allows people to, what are you using, like 035? So 035 to 037, sometimes 04, you okay. know, depending, 04, Which for 0, most depending. people is about 15 pound, a lot of yeah. lines are in that yeah. designation. And you're using that all the way straight through, four ounce lead? Or? Four, ounce, four ounce is our, our restriction where we're on fishing right. in Kent at the moment, but some people I know have got three ounce restrictions, some people have, some people can use a little bit more, right. but, but four ounces are, you know, if, you, if you're going to try and fish like 140, 150 yards, four ounces are, okay. it's a good, it was a good starting point for us So both the rod. rods are, are 13 foot? Yep. Both the rods are the same test curve? Yep. So the only difference is, is the way they're rung, so what's going yep. on there? So basically, yeah, there's, there's two rods, and like you say, they're, they're absolutely identical, there's effectively one rod. Um, they're 13 foot, they're rated at three and three quarter pound test curve, so they're, they're, they're pretty beefy, they're yeah. pretty healthy set of rods. Yeah. Um, the only two differences we've got is the ring set. So okay. basically we've got one that you see here. Is this the new anti-frap guide? Though? Yeah, they're titanium, they're Fuji K guides. Um, they're the Alconite version, right. uh, but they are titanium. Right. So rather okay. than the standard steel ones that we used on the original C2, which is more of an all-round you know, general purpose, not a casting rod at all really. We've switched over to the titanium version, which is obviously a lot, lot lighter, a yeah. lot less weight in the tip, a lot less corkscrewing in the tip. Okay. And then for the traditionalists yeah. who are... Because these, these these look so different, I guess yeah, some people yeah. might I mean, not want to grab it. Performance wise, especially in the in the, in the the titanium, they are far superior to an yeah. all SRC guide for, for numerous reasons. Uh, weight especially, uh, even though they look a bit bulky, the titanium version is far lighter yes, than is, the standard yeah. steel SRCs. But they're not everyone's cup of tea cosmetically. Um, they look very futuristic, don't they? So I they suppose are, if someone yeah, wants yeah. the, as you said, the old school Classic. kind of ring in, you exactly. offer that as well. Then we've got just the standard Century SIC, double legs, 50 mil, 50 to 16s, okay. all the way through. Very nice, okay, a really impressive concept. It's nice to hear something different yeah. um, behind a rod. So uh, let's stick some reels on and have a play, shall we? Have we? a go, yeah, okay, nice. mate, let's give them a go. Okay, Dave, so we're all spooled up and ready to go, um, but there's a lot of technical attributes to this design and, and the stuff you put into it um, behind the scenes. So do you want to go through some of the key aspects for us? Yeah, if we, we have a look at the build first, got a black aluminium, hard anodized laser etch, butt cap, abbreviated handle, black whippings and a yeah. metallic red tipping. Metallic red tippings again. Very classy. Either side of the reel seat, a little bit of EVA either side. And then we've got Alps to very kindly did us this m custom matte Beautiful. Aluminium. Yeah, it's the same real seat as their, their normal round one. We had the triangular profile one on the yeah. other C2s. They're quite thin, yeah. so if you need, need to get hold of it for long range, these ones have got a, a bit, little bit thick, a little bit more to get hold of. That does look lovely, mate. And we've had them, yeah, yeah. We've had them done uh, in a matte colour. Their standard one's like a shiny finish. The blank itself is uh, <coughs> finished with a 1K spiral weave. Yeah. It's a little bit different. The, so the whole look of it is quite, I mean it looks modern and obviously with the real yeah. seat but it's got a nice retro feel yeah, as well. Yeah it's quite it? understated. It's the same It's the same exterior weave that we use on the uh, on the NG. Okay. So if anyone out there has got NGs or seen NGs it's yeah. a very very similar finish to that. Um, and plain black whippings all the way through. This one here we've got to have a cast with in a minute. It's got the titanium K guides on. Okay. The carbon 
is a mixture of the C2 carbon that we used and a new material called spread toe fabric, mm -hmm. uh, which is what we've just used in our T1000 beach rod, okay. which has done some silly things. Right, <laughs> it's really, okay. really, really <laughs> mega So serious materials. This, it's really, I can tell from everything you're saying about it, this is this is a no compromise no, weapon, no. isn't it? Well, what we decided to do was just, just build the best rod we could build yeah. and then put the price tag on it at the end. Whatever it and, comes and out. Whatever yeah. it comes out, it does. No compromise. You know, none at all. So you were talking a little bit earlier about anti-twist as well. Yeah, I mean, all, all of our rods now, um, they're all autoclave. A lot of people know about the Century Autoclave, yep. which is part of the, the, the curing process. All the rods go in an oven and all of the air pockets um, removed, are so, removed. Yeah. So there's no flat spots, no weak spots. Obviously, guards them against breakage, but yep. also guards them against test curve decay. So right, it's not okay. going to be. So you don't get that softening over a no, period of time. This will last you as long as you need to use them. Very they good. Won't, they, okay. won't, uh, they won't back off at all. Um, and the anti-twist technology, all of the rods have anti-twist technology in now. And basically, the way the fibres are laid down in the tip section, when you really, really hit them hard, especially with the weight of double leg rings these days, um, you'll get... Sometimes the actual top section can yeah, move around, can't a it? lot, like 45 degrees yeah. if you really hit them. Now, what that's doing, first of all, is your accuracy is going to be compromised yeah. massively because the, the tip section's all over the place. Uh, and the other, the other big, big problem is that the line, the, the rings, because they're not in line, yeah. and the, you're going to get twist, and obviously the, you're going to get a lot more friction. Loads more friction, yeah. Uh, because the, the rings aren't lined up. So this so is this, the, these will not twist at all, these no, tip you, sections. You, if, you, if you try and twist one of these tip sections, which is probably not the best idea, but no. if you do try and do it, the, the rings will probably come off before the... Right, OK. The, 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 this is the, the latest and greatest anti-twist uh, technology. Um, on this rod and yeah there, there'll be no corkscrewing in there at all okay well i mean again the concept behind this i find really really interesting guys and any of you people watching this who are fishing lakes with those um, restrictions put in place for carp safety and, and they're valid aren't they Dave? Oh, absolutely uh, yeah. we'd have them if we had our own lakes this rod is going to help you get out to those fish uh without a shock leader safely without cracking off Show us what you can do with it, Dave. Okay, mate. Well, we've got some uh, we've got some 035 mono on here. Okay. So you've got no shock leaders, no knots. Straight through to straight it. Straight through, grinned onto a four ounce lead. Okay. And we'll see how it looks. Right, <laughs> off you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Phenomenal. Hang time. <laughs> that to to cast that hard with a four ounce lead. Certainly, you know, I'm, I'm a fairly erratic caster. I would, would, without question, I would crack that off, but that was beautiful. It looked effortless. The it's, flank, obviously, is, is powerful, but the key is it's powerful in the right places. It's powerful in the it? right places. Most of the crack-offs when you're fishing like this, as we touched on when we were chatting earlier, the, the, the shock will occur in the, in the, the thickest bit, in the buck section, in yeah. the most powerful bit. So without giving too much away, we've ever so slightly You've addressed that. Softened that, that area of the blank okay. and then ever so slightly stiffened the tip to, to make up for it. For those and again, guys. I just wanted to touch on something that Dave mentioned earlier. You know, we've all had that syndrome where you've got a cart rod that you love, you've caught plenty of fish on it over a period of years, and then it gradually softens, doesn't it, Dave? And it becomes different to the rod you started out with. This won't happen with a century rod. No, no, none of the rods, every single one. We had one rod in the range that was uh, a non autoclave rod, it was a slightly cheaper option. and. Nobody wanted it, you know. Right. It was so we've, yeah. we've taken it out of the range, and everything we have now is is this is slightly higher spec than, than some of the other rods. The, the C twos are our flagship rods, okay. uh, but every single rod has, has been given the autoclave treatment. So, okay. uh, how far can you put a four ounce lead with this setup? That you've got I've actually personally only tested this with uh, with no shock leaders yeah. because that for me that was That's uh, what it's designed th th this for, will isn't work it? fantastic. I mean, if you can use braid and braided shock leaders, and and this will do. It will go even oh, further. I've had this clipped at one sixty with dry 037 line. It's, uh, and I'm not an amazing caster, there's a lot better casters out there than me, but the, this this rod will do it, you know, and Fantastic. it will do it with ease. Brilliant. Just to finish off, mate, we've got uh, a matching spod rod now as well. One thing we've never, ever had is a 13 foot spod rod. Slightly different this, this is actually based on the concept and the action and the idea of the, of the spotting machine, which is a 12 foot one we got in the range. Um, so this is literally as close as we could get it to a 13 foot version of the 12 foot that we've already got, so okay. slightly different materials. We've kept the finish exactly the same um, with the one case spiral finish, so it matches the fishing rods. There's a marker rod as well. Um, we've just got a standard DPS reel seat on this one today, but these will also come as well with the uh, with the black Alps reel seat with the uh, with the laser etching on. Uh, we've kept these just with the 50 mil SICs all the way through. 
for someone who can't cast, and I'm, I'm not much of a caster at all, uh, this setup that Dave's let me have a play with is, is phenomenal. And again, 035, which is 15 pound line, straight through to a four ounce lead, which might have slightly shorter. And even in my hands, it's going a reasonable distance. Dave put it a ridiculous way, hell of a weapon. Great stuff, Dave.